still so yipsim everyone and welcome to the Simsador channel. My name is Bradley, all the way from Belgium, and I am here to present to you my newest speed build. Now guys, this was actually really a challenge this time, and for real, it's a uh, challenge that I found on uh, Twitter recently, and the challenge is coming from my dearest Fildos, and he uh, asked us to make a museum for the Sims. Now, Honestly, I never really made a museum because I never really go with my sims to a museum But after building this one, I might do it because I made this great combination of like paintings sculptures, but as well uh, themed uh, wings where they can go and uh, visit different cultures of um, oriental cultures and for example they can go to like a more Aztec Mayan uh, theme we have a medieval theme theme as well and uh, we have as well a art studio where sims can go to the museum and they can just do and practice their art which is a great place to just meet other sims that are into arts as well and I made this little tiny group um, as well or uh, where my sims can meet and they're all artists and they just go there there to hang out and relax and watch the paintings but it ended up well but I tell you this was such a long build and like honestly like even these structures weren't like anything special or anything different you know it it was just this French style easy U form um, that I did and so nothing special nothing different no special corners but this was such a long build. I think like if I put all the footage together, I, it took me up to eight hours to make this build. There is a huge maze on both sides of the building uh, where your sims can go into it and they can just try to get lost or, you know, have a little romantic date in the maze. Um, that's what I was thinking of. But I tell you this, Bill was so challenging and in a way of like challenging um, how do I explain this it was just challenging because I needed to figure out things that you will find a in a museum you know you could not put like just regular furniture and I was just thinking like what could I do what kind of themes because when I went to a museum here in Belgium um, there was a lot of themes going on so like you could go and visit um, different eras and different time breaks. like I love the places where you can go and visit the dinosaurs and I'm so sad I tried to make like a nice dinosaur but I couldn't really find any objects where I could make like a nice skeleton or you know like so the only thing I could find was this dino head and so I just placed that at the entrance so there's not really a dino section which is very unfortunate but um, as you can see right now um, it was too tiny, too small, so eventually the backside I completely changed and um, that eventually I would do later. But I was like, you know what, just let's start with the front, let's see how that works out. Because with this build I was honestly not very sure if I would like it and if I would even continue. But I was like, I really want to do this uh, challenge from Fildos and so I was just going to do it. Um, I'm going to add Fildo's Twitter in the description so if you want to like find him and get to meet him he has some awesome creations I think he's very common in Twitch as well um, but that's why I was so inspired to make a museum and something different because what I feel like it's, it's always nice you can find a lot of residential stuff for your sims but it's so hard to find like places community places where your sims can go and relax and meet other sims and so that's what I've been concentrating on a little bit lately because I just want to like have a little bit of storytelling now I do need to say talking about storytelling when I started like um, testing the build I felt like this place might be cursed because like when my sims started visiting it like there was like spiders there was like crawling creatures and like even people burned down so I think this museum might be actually really like I'm not lying this all happened I think it might be cursed and like I tried to figure out if it was maybe a setting in the house but no it just got really, really cursed. But I really hope you enjoyed this build. Check it out if you want to know if it's cursed, yes or no. And let me know. Let me know in the comments if you figured out what happened to it and what could cause the curse, right? 
Um, there's a lot of stuff packs and a lot of expansion packs involved to it. So I'm so sorry if you cannot download it because of the lot of many things. But it was just like, if you wanted to put a museum, it was just so hard not to use everything because I needed so much stuff, so much different stuff to do it. But it was so much fun. Um, if you want to download it, just go to the gallery and find me under Brady Bread 7. If you don't know how to write it, I always put it in the description below the video where you can find uh, how you can exactly write it or you can do hashtag Simsador. But as well, you can find me on matasims.info um, where I put all my downloads as well. So if you cannot use the gallery for some reason, you can find it on matasims.info as well. I normally usually uh, upload it immediately to the gallery. So um, I hope you will find it. If you are having any questions or you need a link, let me know. But it's time to say goodbye now. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you like my channel, subscribe and enjoy more of my videos that I'm posting very soon. It's time to say goodbye now. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Arugaba.